How to play the piano when you don't read music. Uh, just recently watched a Paul McCartney video uh, where he explains his technique on piano and how people are always shocked when they find out that he doesn't actually read music. And certainly when he writes a song, he doesn't write it down in sheet music. So, and it kind of sparked something because it's 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 a technique that I've been talking about for years and I've, it's the first time I've actually seen anybody explain uh how they approach it and it was one of them videos it was a good video but maybe if you're a beginner you might not fully understand what's going on so in this video i wanted to kind of explain more visually what it was that he was talking about now traditionally people learn to read sheet music so they'll get something like that and they'll work out the notes what it is on the piano and systematically works out almost like a jigsaw puzzle and but when it actually comes to uh, writing music writing songs they might not necessarily be able to do it. So I know a lot of people who can play the piano quite well, can read music, translate it, but if it came to know what the chords were that they were playing, they wouldn't really have any knowledge of that, not really aware of what the scales are, or anything like that. And so they might be able to play Moonlight Sonata or Fair Release by Beethoven, but might be stumped at something simple like uh, Imagine by John Lennon. So let's have a close up of the keyboard to see what's going on. So what Paul McCartney was explaining in the video, and you couldn't quite see the, the piano properly, really. Uh, so hopefully this is a bit more of a detailed explanation of what he was talking about. It was to find middle C, which is two black notes. You've got three black notes, so the first white note before the two black notes is C. You see you see in there, two black notes, two black notes there, and C. So that's how you find your way on the keyboard to your anger. Uh, now the key of C is all the white notes. C D E F G A B C. I'm struggling my way around a, a tripod here, so me my hand kinda go the way I want it. So no comments on how bad my technique is. Plus I've got a broken wrist as well, which needs surgery. So all the, it's all the excuses out of the way. So anyway, Paul McCartney, what he was saying was C note, miss a note, the third note, miss a note, the fifth note, first, third, fifth. That's a C chord. And now using that method, you go up, if you know your key of C and the chords in it. I have done a video on this, but you've got C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and we're back to C again. So they are all your chords in that key, so, and that's really all you need to be able to start you know, writing songs. And that's how you would begin. So if I was teaching children how to play the piano and they didn't read mu the, the music, because when you think a lot of times people are traditionally you know given something like moonlight sonata you look at all the notes and then you try to figure out where the notes are you you want to be able to eventually be able to do that but to get started and if you want to write your own songs you've got to remember pop songs are not classical pieces of music they're fairly simple in form so they are the chords now with that say the c chord you can do inversions so you got your c note there so that would mean that was that would be an inversion of C, and we see that. And as Paul McCartney referenced, "Imagine" by John Lennon. So it starts off with a C chord, and then it's an inversion of F, and that little back to C. And we see a lot of that. Um, he also referenced it. Yeah, I can't remember what the name of the song is now. Chords are so many things like in the case of you can add a bass note in. And there's so 
many ways of doing that. Now when I've been teaching children uh, how to, the way around the keyboard, if you've got something like C, the C chord, so you can make these cascading runs. Uh, now what's interesting, if you've got any theoretical knowledge of chords, you can work out chords by knowing the chords in the key of C. So if you wanted to do the C chord, if you know that that's your major third, make it a C major. If that drops onto the minor third, then you've got a C minor chord. And if you know your intervals, again I've done a video on intervals, you would know that this was your second. One, two, so C suspended two, C minor, C major, C suspended four. C7, C major 7, so you can work out the chords, if that's a D minor, then the third would have to be raised for a D major, again with the E minor, the third being raised, a semitone, would be, what did we say, E, the E chord, would be like that, uh, that's E, that's E minor, uh, so suspended too so you can work out all your different chords and essentially that's what like Sir Paul McCartney like Sir John Lennon were doing is taking a guitar based you know they were originally playing bass guitar had chord knowledge and then were translating it onto the piano and you should be able to start writing without necessarily having to read the music It's all about playing around, listening to what other people are doing. Because traditionally, you would have something like that, for release by Beethoven, and you'd be trying to read the notes, and you're translating what's going on. So I know a lot of people who can actually do that very well, almost like doing a jigsaw puzzle. But when it comes to understanding what the chords are that they're playing, they don't know what chords they're playing, they don't really know what key they're in, or what it means regarding scales, and they certainly couldn't write a song um, because they've just learned to read the music. You do want to learn to read music because, you know, more uh, more power to you if you can do that. But for starting out on the piano and being able to find your way around pop songs and popular songs, you've got to remember pop songs um, are not classical pieces of music. So they're not as difficult as you think. So as always, thank you for watching. It's kind of new area for me, looking at the keyboard and looking at piano. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.